This video was brought to you by Elbilmerk, a bedroom planner, storing by Ken Power and Bill Componente. Yo, what's up? Today I'm going to show you guys how fast the Bichot 5008 is charging. It can peak at 160 kilowatts, way faster than any Stellantis car we've seen. But how does it stack up against the competitors? Well, let's see. So uh, initially it goes a bit slow-ish. It doesn't hit 160 right away, but okay, still fine. And then I include a bunch of other cars in the same price range-ish, right? But then it hits 160, ah, 164 kilowatt. Wow, but there might be a bit of battery heating going on here. This is only what we see from the charger. Uh, but then compared to the other cars, they are charging way faster. ID4, okay, maybe not that fast, but G6, for example, x G6. Also Model Y maybe hit 350, but that doesn't matter too much and we can't keep it too long. But uh, already now you see that the G6 is way ahead of the competitors. Well, actually, Model Y is right behind because it had that nice peak. But yeah, already now. Uh, well, actually, which car is uh, in the bottom here? It's actually the E5008. <laughs> okay, we start throttling already now a little bit, but still maintaining okay speed. Uh, but compared to the other cars, for example, ID4 has now a, a way flatter curve, so it's pulling away. So the E5008 is now at the bottom of the list. Oh shit! Can it at least redeem itself towards the top? Well, we'll see. Right now, the G6 is still in a big lead. They're way ahead of the others, almost 10% faster than the others. Wow, that is very impressive. And then uh, second place is actually ID4. And then Model Y is in the third place. And then the 5008 on the, on the worst place. Uh, now it started throttling even more at 50%, only 109 kilowatt, but still maintaining okay speed ish. Yeah, not dropping to 75 kilowatt like many of the Stellantis cars would do, but they have a smaller battery. Uh, all right, um, what else is going on? Yeah, okay, now it starts trotting a little bit more, but uh, also the other cars, they can maintain okay speed. Like ID4 start dropping a bit, Model Y drops actually also a bit, but then the G6, okay, uh, well, uh, let's not compare against the Chinese cars, shall we? They are just way too good now. <laughs> the G6 is way ahead now, look at that. It's 600 volt hyped up architecture, that's why. Yeah, but uh, okay, still now the E5008 is still maintaining okay speed. Maybe I just call it be short. Shorter, yeah. The Bichot is okay, still going at okay speed 74 kilowatt. At least it doesn't plummet that bad, but it is still uh, is that far behind. Well, actually, Model Y is uh, not that far away <laughs> when I think about it. Model Y is also charging kind of slow now uh, towards the end, but the G6 still pulls nice power. It's about to hit 90 percent uh, in not too long compared to the other ones, they're only at around 70 percent. Wow, very impressive with the Chinese, at least. Um, but okay, back to the Peugeot then. Peugeot finally hit 70%, yeah. Still the slowest of them all, but still maintaining 75 kilowatt, okay. Uh, I mean, the Peugeot is not that thirsty for the size, okay. So it's still okay speed, I guess. Yeah, also the 1000 kilometer challenge proved that. Um, but now let's pay attention to the G6 again. G6 is about to hit 90%. Uh, there and <laughs> Bichot is at 75 percent wow that is a huge difference and also you can look at the energy delivered uh, the g6 pull around 50 percent more power but it's not 100 percent true you're gonna look at this it's not what went into the battery because this is what the, the charger delivered and then we have cooling and losses and all that in between but okay um uh, still uh, the the Bichot managed to get okay speed towards the end now it's still maintaining 50 kilowatt at least until 80 percent it doesn't plummet like some other cars tend to do at 80 percent uh, but uh, what is huh? is the G6 going to hit 100% by the time <laughs> Peugeot hit 90%? Well, we'll see. <laughs> that would be too, total humiliation. Uh, but uh, Model Y is also going kind of slow now. Actually, charging a, is it charging a little bit slower than um, uh, the, the Peugeot? We'll see now once we look at the charging curve afterwards. But uh, yeah, and the uh, second place will go to the ID4, about to hit 90% by the time G6 hits 100%. <laughs> uh, and then actually, Model Y is also about to hit 90%. Wait, which car is going to win first? Sir? There, a Model Y hit 90% right before ID4. Wow, okay, a small win for Tesla there. And then ID4, okay. And now we're just waiting for the slowest car, which is the Peugeot, to hit 90%. So the question is, um, will the G6 hit 100%? Well, the G6 is already at the uh, 8, but uh, taking only 22 kilowatt. Yeah, look, look at the speed here. G6 takes 23 kilowatt at 98%, and then the, the Peugeot takes 25 kilowatt at 88%. Wow. I mean, okay, it's a bigger battery, the G6, but it seems like the, the battery design on the G6 is way better than the, the Stellantis cars. There. Yeah, it's the G6 hit 100% before. 
Oh, do 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 do. Yeah, come on. Can we can we hit 90 percent now? I'm just going to wait a little bit. You're going to wait a couple of extra seconds just to see that. Okay, it took 40. Uh, I don't know, almost 50 minutes to hit 90%. Yeah, the other cars, they needed way lower time. And if you look at the charging curve here, at the bottom here, the red line, there is where you have the Peugeot. Yeah, it is just charging the slowest of them all. Did he actually... Yeah, okay, went a little bit past Model Y. Okay, yeah. Bravo. The slow clap. But then it kind of just followed the Model Y curve slightly and then uh, went actually below the Model Y again towards the end. And then what else do we have here? The x bang is just way, way faster than all the others. But even the, the Q4 e-tron, okay, this is not the fastest. The ID7 and uh, actually the, the, uh, the Volkswagen, uh, uh, yeah, is faster. Uh, they have a different battery, just to mention it, yeah, once again, the... ID ID4 and the Q7, ID4 and the ID7, they have uh, the battery peaks at 885 kilowatt. That's actually the nicer, faster curve than the Q4. I'm not sure why, and it's still, it's still from the MEB platform, but uh, okay. But yeah, so um, I think it's no need to beat the dead horse. It's just yeah. Um, the Peugeot uh, doesn't charge that fast. That's what we learned from this video. So that's gonna be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching, and talk to you later.